Are you a realtor struggling to keep up with your phone calls and text messages? Then this video is for you. Today I'm going to share why you need a Google voice number and how it's going to completely change your business. I'm going to share how to set up a Google voice number for your iPhone. Let's get started. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thanks so much for stopping by. My name is Carrie Jonikas and I am the proud owner and a transaction manager at Amplify Transaction Services. If you would like to learn more information about how we can help you, you can visit our website at www.amplifytransactions.com. First, I'm going to share 10 ways that Google Voice can completely change your business. Number one is it provides a centralized communication hub. You can use one Google Voice number that will forward calls to your personal or office phones and keep all work-related communications in one place. It also provides flexibility by accessing calls, voicemails, and texts from a smartphone, a tablet, or your computer. I do want to dive a little bit deeper on this flexibility and being able to access this on your computer as well as on your smartphone. Now, most iPhones, if you use a Mac, you'd be able to access your text messages on your computer. There are some Android apps that allow you to, you know, text on your computer, but I think Google Voice just takes it 10 steps ahead of that. And it's also free. So some of those apps I'm sure you have to pay for and they're not, they don't come readily available with your service plan. So if something were to happen to your phone, depending on what the issue is, of course, you should still be able to go onto your computer and make a phone call, whereas maybe your regular number maybe isn't working for whatever reason. So if something happens to your phone or you lose your phone, you still can go on your computer, make phone calls, receive text messages, which of course helps you to be able to continue to do your business and not have a lax in service. It also helps by being able to keep an accurate record of any calls or text messages that happen because it can provide a transcript. Now, this isn't you having a phone conversation with someone and it's sending you a transcript, but if they leave a voicemail or if they send a text, that can get sent as an email and you can also reply to that text message in your email inbox. So it gives you a great amount of flexibility and also stability in being able to provide a consistent service to your clients by never having a lax in communication because you have so many options. Number two is having a professional image. It allows you to keep your personal calls and your business calls separate by having a separate number and voicemail for your business calls and a separate line for your personal calls. It offers call screening and filtering as, as well. I already mentioned. You have voicemail transcription, which of course most iPhones also have that or Android phones also have that capability. However, it is nicer because this can also be sent to an call email. routing and forwarding. It also can forward your calls to another phone number. So say you have your phone number changed, that phone number can always stay consistent, even if you end up having to have a new phone number for your personal line. You can also have calls logged throughout your CRM program because Google Voice does connect with a lot of different CRM programs. It is cost effective because it's free. You can get it very easily through your Gmail account. If you have a workspace account, it does cost money. So you would have to have just an at Gmail account. Um, if you have anything workspace related, which would be, say you have your own business, for instance, our business is at amplifiedtransactions.com. We don't have an at gmail.com email address. And so for us, it would cost money for us to have that as part of our business. But if we get a free Gmail account, we of course can have a free Google Voice number. And finally, it helps with work-life balance. If you ever need to go on vacation or if you are wanting to take a day off, you can easily transfer your calls to another number, which will then allow for that person to be able to get your calls as well. So they would also, you would also be able to set this up in email so you can have all of the transcriptions be forwarded to that person so then they can respond via email. It makes it super easy to have that work-life balance and to have someone cover for you. Now I'm going to walk you through how to get a Google Voice number on your iPhone. The first step is to go to the App Store on your iPhone and search Google Voice. Then you will click Get Download. 
Once it is downloaded, you're going to open the Google Voice app on your phone. Now you're going to want to make sure that you allow to receive notifications. You're going to follow the prompts to connect Gmail to your Google Voice account. Now you're going to select the Google Voice number. Pro tip, you can search available numbers by zip code so you can choose a number that has the same zip code as your personal phone number. Once you select your Google Voice number, you will need to select your personal number that you will connect to the Google Voice number. Now it's going to send you a verification code via text message on your personal line. You're going to want to enter that verification code into the Google Voice app. Now you're ready to set up your voicemail greeting. You're going to click the three little lines in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Click Settings. Scroll down to Voicemail and click the arrow by Voicemail Greeting. Then you can review other settings to see if you want to add those features. Pro tip, use that spam filter. Additional settings for you to review. Pro tip, call screening is very annoying for those who are calling you. What happens is when you call somebody, it's going to ask the caller to state their name. It will then call you and let you know who that person is that's trying to reach you. And you have the ability to either send that person a voicemail or decide if you want to talk to that party. When you are on the calling side so say you know someone is calling you as the caller to calling you it is very annoying um when you have to state your name um to me it sounds very robotic i mean it could be kind of considered as you know a secretary for you if you wanted to look at it that way but you know on the calling side it's definitely for that caller is is annoying for them so keep that in mind I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to stay in the loop on all the tips and tricks about organizing your real estate business, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you on the next one.